Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name is Chris and today I'm going to give you a quick glimpse on how to organize one of the most ubiquitous items in most people's shops and it's tape. It can find itself all over the place. So today we're going to quickly make one of these tape corrals. Join us to see how we did it. Well, here's a prime example of how tape and labels, they can just pile up in your shop with no rhyme or reason. So we're gonna fix this problem today with a simple organization solution. Now, there's no plans to this. I'm just ripping down pieces to a width that I think by eye is what I need. I then set my table saw blade at 15 degrees and I make one rip with one side being at 15 degrees and that angle is gonna be important later on and I'll explain why in just a second. So I'm pre-sanding these pieces before assembly. It just makes it easier in the long run and realizing that the width of the angle piece I cut wasn't quite wide enough. So we're gonna go ahead and rip another piece and go ahead and assemble it together. You can see it's kind of leaning back, almost like a, a lounge chair, if you will. And uh, that, that angle's gonna be important because it's gonna make the tape kind of come forward a little bit onto that lip, giving us easy access later on. Now we're gonna go ahead and encase it. This is a piece of half inch plywood I found just lying around the shop and I've cut it to the dimensions after measuring it after pre-assembling the actual corral. The bandsaw is a great tool to use for this. However, a jigsaw will work just fine as well. These edges simply just go on with glue and brads, nothing more. And now it's time to hold some tape. Quick little test run, looks great. Now it's time to pre-install these three screws, right, middle, and left. I'm gonna screw the middle one in first. This is gonna be a little bit above my head just to kind of get out of the way. Level it up. Drive the screws home, and as you can see, that angle puts all the tape right there, accessible right in the front of the display. Well, there you go, guys. That was one of those projects I kept putting off and putting off, and finally I did it. it took about an hour to make, and I'm glad I did. I've been looking to wrangle all this tape in one spot, and now I have a solution. Uh, one more thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, progress on this channel has slowed down just a bit. You know, I'm a busy guy. I work full-time, 50-plus hours a week. Um, wife, three kids in there, and that takes up a lot of my time as well. But I'm still dedicated. I'm still devoted to putting videos out as soon and as often as I can. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to leave a link down below. Go ahead and follow me down there if you don't mind, because in between projects, I'm posting something. Uh, this is a crazy project. I got something coming up next. Uh, you ever seen these little guys? <laughs> these are cicadas, and around this time of year, they're, they're out there, they're noisy, and they have made their way into my shop, a few of them, and I have encased, if you've seen me on Instagram, I've encased some of these in resin, and I'm not gonna show you too much of what I'm doing. And it also involves some wings that have had epoxy <laughs> inlaid into them. So stay tuned for this project, it's gonna be a crazy one. I've been working on it for a couple of months. Actually, you could say I've been working on it for a couple of years because it's hard to come by these cicadas and I finally got a few of them and I was able to get it done. I know it's crazy, I know I'm mad scientist over here and I'm not sure exactly what I'm thinking, but in a couple of weeks, maybe less than that, this project's gonna be ready and I'm gonna release it. So, subscribe if you're not already. I'm gonna have some more videos over here that you can watch, of course you can subscribe here too. And guys, thank you so much for joining me for this one. And I look forward to more videos to come. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.